Hey, welcome to the NXT TakeOver 30 review with Randy Orton. <laughs> so, honestly, I loved TakeOver. Honestly, I do not want to review Dynamite because Dynamite was a huge mess. Alright, so... Breeze, so the kickoff show, yeah, the match was Breeze Zango versus Lejaro de Fantasma versus Lorkin and Birch. I chose Fantasma, but Breeze Zango won when Tyler Breeze hit Ani Lorkin with a super kick. Alright, Breeze Zango did have a title shot against Imperium before, but um, Indusher got involved, but this time Indusher is not going to get involved. They've been taken off TV, and this time Breeze Zango is probably going to win this time. Since Indusha is not going to be there this time. So I hope Breezango will get their first titles. So Because I really need to. I really want them to have a title. I don't care if it's a tag title or a 24-7 title. I, I just hope it's a, a title. But yeah. So Breezango won when... Yeah. Tyler Breeze super kicked Donnie Lorcan. And Breezango won. And then NXT went on the air. And the match kicked off with a very great match. And it's Timothy Thatcher versus Finn Balor. Timothy Thatcher was grappling. It was like trying to hit a lock on Finn Balor. And then Finn Balor hit Timothy Thatcher with a submission. And then Finn Balor started coming back. He hit... Timmy Thatcher with a foot, double foot stop, and then went up top and hit the coup de gras, and then hit Timothy Thatcher with a nineteen sixteen. All right, the all right, and then the next thing, and then yeah, Sasha and Bailey were guests, and Cesaro. All right, then the next match was the Fatal Five Way North American Title Ladder Match. Damian Priest had a really badass entrance. Bronson Reed has new music. So everything went into chaos, like good chaos. So Grimes got split when he climbed two ladders and he got split. Bronson almost got sandwiched. Dream and Grimes team on Priest and Reed and take down everybody. And then they were quote-unquote team with Johnny Gargano and then they did a really good combination when Bronson Reed was holding Cameron Grimes with a power bomb and then Cameron Grimes suplexed Damian Priest um suplex Damian Priest and Damian Priest was superplexing Johnny Gargano actually no Velveteen Dream Give me a minute. All right. So. Yeah. And then Johnny Gargano was left. He was so close to winning. Priest was close to winning. And then Velveteen Dream thought it was a good idea to throw a ladder to Damian Priest's face. It was a pretty good. He it was pretty brutal that Br Damian Priest got a ladder in his face. Then Bronson dived on Gargano and Dream, and then Priest dived on everybody, and then Lor Candice LeRae interfered and she fought Cameron Grimes, and then she hit a hurricane run on Cameron Grimes, and Cameron Grimes dived on Damian Priest. And then Loray almost interfered for Bron decided to interfere for Bronson Reed. And then Bronson Reed carried Candice LeRae on his back. And then Bronson Reed splashed on Gargano, which killed him. Almost killed Gargano. And Candice LeRae was out of the out of the fray so far. And then so and then Bran Bronson Ray tried going up the ladder. Then he got stopped by Cameron Grimes. And then Cameron Grimes tried, tried going for the ladder and then got stopped by Velveteen Dream. That's 
<laughs> and then Damian Priest choke slammed Bronson Reed. So yeah, Damian Priest choke slammed Bronson Reed to the ladder. Dream was about to go for that was about an elbow drop Cameron Grimes, but the title was next to him, which he's an idiot, by the way. And then he was about to go grab it, and then Dream and then Bronson Reed threw um tipped the ladder off and Dream almost went through the bar went over the barricade and landed on a table, which killed up Velveteen Dream. That means Velveteen Dream is out. Alright. And then Bronson Reed went for a, and then Bronson Reed tried, and then Johnny Gargano interfered, and Cameron Grimes was there. Bronson Reed got taken out, then Cameron Grimes got taken out, then Johnny Gargano was. Cl All right, let me just tell you this: it was the title was clipped up, oh, oh, was clipped off, and Damian Priest and Johnny Gargano were holding it, and then Damian Priest kicked Johnny Gargano, and Johnny, you know. Like, tipped up and fell. Not with the title. He did not fall with the title. And Damian Priest won the North American title. Honestly, I thought it was going to be Cameron Grimes or Johnny Gargano. But I did not expect Priest to win. Which, I'm proud of Damian Priest to win. So, I hope Damian Priest, I hope Damian Priest has a good reign. So... All right, so the next match was Adam Cole versus the retard, Pat McAfee. So, yeah, Pat McAfee was not letting Adam Cole give him a hit. And then and then his, like, little football, Pat McAfee's little football buddies got involved. And then Undisputed Era got involved, and, all, and then all of them got ejected. Well, um, Pat McAfee dived on them, and then they got ejected. Pat McAfee. Which was a actual good dive. Pat McAfee knocked Adam Cole out with a punk kick, but Adam Cole kicked out. And Adam Pat McAfee was about to dive on Adam Cole, but Adam Cole hit Pat McAfee with a super kick. And then Adam Cole decided to go instead of a last shot, he decided to go for the Panama Sunrise. Remember? Fifteen Canadian destroyers. <laughs> And then, so yeah, Adam Cole won with a Panama Sunrise. There's one Canadian Destroyer, and Pat McAfee was done. And I'm glad Adam Cole won. I'm glad I picked Adam Cole. So yeah. And then the next one was Io Shirai versus Dakota Kai for the NXT Women's title. Markel Gonzalez was there. So, so far, it was a really good match until Dakota Kai took out the ref. Raquel Gonzalez got involved. But that didn't work because Yo Io Shirai kicked out. <laughs> but Io Shirai, well, then Io Shirai hit a moonsault on Raquel Gonzalez and then rolled Dakota Kai over. And then Io Shirai hit a moonsault to Dakota Kai. And Io Shirai retained. And then Rhea Ripley came out. And you and then Larry Ripley was staring down Io Shirai and Raquel Gonzalez, you know, because Raquel and the Robert Stone brand costed Rhea Ripley the number one contenders match. And then, then, and then after the match, they were like teasing a lot of stuff. They were teasing a lot. It was pretty good. NXT UK is coming back in the September seventeenth. And Tommaso Champ is coming back this Wednesday, which I can't wait. So, and then Damian Priest had a title celebration, you know, with Joey Janelle's girlfriend and some other girl. And, yeah, he was celebrating. Triple H took a picture. And then, the main event was slow, but it was a pretty good one. It was Karrion Cross versus Keith Lee. I did not expect Cross to win, actually. I did pick him to win, though. I did pick him. I did pick Cross to win. And then Karrion Cross won the NXT title when he, he hit a Saito suplex from the top of the turnbuckle. 
He hit a side of suplex in the ring, and but it didn't work. He tried doing a cross jacket on Keith Lee, but it didn't work. Karrion Cross was mostly dominating the whole match. Putting Karrion Cross over was a pretty good idea. But let's see what he does in his title defenses against Adam Cole or Dominic Dajakovic. Dan- not Damian Priest. Cameron Grimes, Johnny, Johnny Gargano, Tom Oswald Champa. But yeah, Karrion Cross won the NXT title. And I'm proud of that. Plus, I think the only reason Keith need they needed Keith Lee to have the NXT title reign so Vince can put him on the main rock. They want him for they so Keith Lee is gonna won the NXT title won the NXT title because he needed credibility so Vince can call him up in the main roster and then yeah and then that was a pretty good one. Carrying Cross as NXT champion, Keith Lee might get called up to the main roster. So, I'm proud of both Keith Lee and Karrion Cross, And honestly, I hope Scarlett can wrestle. Again. If he, if she can wrestle again. So, Karrion Cross, I'm glad. I'm glad he's in. So. It's honestly a really good takeover. It's a really good review. So. Alright, so th- this has been it for the... NXT, NXT TakeOver 30 reveal. So, so leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And leave a comment what's, what was your favorite part of NXT TakeOver 30. Alright. Here, right, this is... This is it. Bye.